once more unto the breach, my friends. The return of mystical masochism as requested. Oh, yeah, I don't have any resource packs for this. Oops. Okay, so first things first. No. Didn't I just turn music off? Thank you. But say, man, there's still music. Uh, anyway, the return of mystical masochism. Uh, we're just going to go through the mods here real quick. Uh, we have Antique Atlas, my favorite map mod. Uh, Ars Magica 2, we had that in the last one. That's the one that gave us the spells that let us mine, create light, that sort of thing. Bobbles comes with Batania. Uh, we have Bibliocraft, that's the one that let us have the to-do... Uh, to, well, didn't really let us have the to-do list. It let us have the desk where we kept our to-do list. Uh, Blood Magic, Alchemical Wizardry is back. We didn't get very far into that one last time. Uh, Batania is here. That's what Bobbles is in there for. Animation.api is for Ars Magica. Chameleon is a uh, part of something. Don't ask me. Inventory tweaks because I want to be able to hit R and rearrange my inventory and hit the little Z and rearrange the chests. Storage drawers. Yes. Totemic. We did not have that one last time. We had Thomcraft instead, but Thomcraft is not updated for 1.10.2, which as you can clearly see along the screen here, that is the one that we are using. I probably shouldn't be talking so loud because my new microphone kind of catches my voice anyway. <clears throat> and we have Waystones instead of Witchery, because Witchery is also not inclu included in 1.10.2, so we have Waystones, which is a mod that's going to let us teleport from place to place. Takes Ender Pearls to do that. Let's make a world. Let's go. We'll create a world. It's in survival mode. We'll call it Mystical Masochism. More world options. Generate structures is on. World type is default. Bonus chest? Nah. Go. We will not have a seed. We will randomly generate the seed. I'll see if I can't remember the command off the top of my head that shows us the seed. I think it's backslash seed. I don't know. We'll find out. It's going to load us up the terrain and everything here. And we're going to get things rolling. This is the part where you have to be patient. I can't promise I'll be patient. Okay. We're loading in. I'll give it a minute. Oh, cool. Planes. That's kind of nice. I hear pigs. You might hear pigs. I'm trying to fix it so that you can hear the Minecraft sounds, but that they're not overwhelming. So right now I've got them at 10 decibels below their actual volume, which may still make them way too quiet. Okay. All right. I think we may have loaded in enough. Kind of. Derp, 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 or herp, herp. Swamp off that way. Whoa. Bro. Uh, options. Video settings. Fast. Clouds off. Render distance down to nine chunks. Done. Done. Back to the game. Oh, so much better. Except the derp is still hardcore. Um, we have a... Looks to be a cave here. What's up, cave? Hey! Everybody remember the Kimmerite? Oh yeah, press E for your inventory. Yay. Achievement, taking inventory. Everybody remembers the Kimmerite, right? Uh, this doesn't look so much like a cave as it just does a little interlude into the rock. That's great. We'll use it as a quarry. I hear a skeleton. Oh, oh, oh! Why am I running towards him? I have no means of escape except the sunlight. Uh, huh, that might actually turn into a cave. <gasps> Yay, there's a witchwood tree, which means that we can probably find some ohm there. Oh, look at this. Mystical, magical, ours, magical flowers. Which one are you? Desert Novas, and we're not in the desert? Okay. Remember we had a video that was like an hour and a half, two hours long, just to find one of these last time? Boom, four, right off the bat. I like it. Here's our ohm. Alright, ladies and gents, we'll, we'll gather up some of this. We like our own. This tree spawns it. Uh, apparently, auto jump is on. Bear with me. Controls, auto jump off. Thank you. No cow, you cannot have my own. Alright, I think nine ought to be enough to start with. What do you think? Alright, let's head over to the forest. And we'll start punching trees. Because again, this is mystical masochism. It is all about the tedium of having that. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. 
You're not going to murder me if I chop down a tree, are you? I've never seen you before. Are you part of Totemic? I wish I had Wayla on, so I... Oh. Okay. Anyway, so that I could maybe see where it was from, but alright, maybe not. Okay. Oak tree punch! Alright, our goals for this episode are, of course, to get ourselves a beginning base up, maybe survive night one. Uh, timer says we got about 16 minutes left, so let's give it a shot, you know? I'm going to try to lower my voice. I'm used to, like, screaming into the microphone with my old microphone and nobody being able to hear a word I'm saying, but so far that has not been the case with the new one. The new one's actually been pretty, uh, sure. We'll grab some more desert novas that aren't in the desert. I think there's a problem with the coating. But that's okay. I will take advantage of it. Rooster Teeth, please don't sue me for using the caboose voice. Alright. Yeah, let's get some Sewer Blossoms. These are also a very important... Uh... Ars Magica flower, which of course, as you all know, I like to start with Ars Magica. It gives us various spells, things like light. Um, there's healing spells in there and all sorts of other stuff. I think we're going to punch down this tree, and then I'm probably going to head up on this hill next to me, make a crafting table and stuff, and then we'll uh, maybe make a sword, kill some animals because I'm hungry and hurt, and we'll see if we can find some sheep. Because I like to sleep. Ha, huh, get it, that rhymes. Okay. Drop. Alright. Moving, 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 moving. Mountain. I like it. <gasps> Ooh, another witchwood tree. I also like it. Okay, I, I kind of like this little valley next to this gorgeous view. I mean, look at that stuff. That's a Oh my goodness. That is rare. As far as I know. Armor root. Dude. We even have a timer to start out with, and look, right there, coal, perfect, this is great, we're gonna, uh, you know what, half of it for now, boop, craft and table, and we'll go ahead and we'll make a pick, we'll grab some stone and stuff, uh, some coal, you know, and just in general make things nice. Bear with me while I'm <sighs> almost at a loss for words here. Mostly because I don't normally talk while I mine. It's very distracting. But hey, it all works out in the end. Okay, so that is a pickaxe plus one, plus two. All right, there's an axe. Now all we need is eight for the furnace. Uh, you know what? We'll even grab two for a sword. So that's going to be what? Six, seven, eight. It's going to be sixteen. Boom. Okay. So we go. We've got four coals so that we can cook. What am I doing? What's a chest? Um, we've got four coals so that we can cook the meat that we kill. Um, we can go ahead and make a sword, no problem, so that we can kill said meat. Um, let's go ahead and make some more sticks here real quick. And we can do this. Bloop, bloop, bloop. We'll take that. We'll take that. Okay, so, like I said, let's go kill some animals, and we'll look for sheep while we're out here, and some white mystical flowers so that we can start in on Batania too, because we just, we, we don't want to just be focusing on one thing at a time this time, we want all the things. Hey, 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 where, 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 come now, come now, you will be food. Oh, hey, and leather. Nice. Uh, I think we want to try to get eight beef. Got him? Okay, that's five. Hi. Ooh, got him. That's seven. Close enough. All right, now we're just going to look for sheep. Uh, I really wish I could find some easy, but you never know. There's another witchwood tree. Wow. Hey, white mystical flowers. Perfect. Alright, so that's going to let's get started on Batania and Ars Magica. We'll start with those two, just like we did last time. 
we'll worry about gathering other colors later. But for right now, we'll just go ahead and keep that. Uh, I seem to remember something about sheep really like... Yeah, swamps. Right, bear with me here. Uh, wow, Desert Nova's in a swamp. Not even kidding you, folks. Not even kidding you. Okay, we're gonna grab some cane. Oh, hey, look. Uh, another achievement hunter reference. I get bonus points. Five points, I think it was, for the brown sheep. Rare occurrence. Hi. Thanks for dying and granting me your wool. Your turn. Thanks. Your turn. Thanks. Okay. Now we can decide that we want to live over here in this little valley. Wait. I used to pick up uh, rose bushes or poppies because, uh, again, achievement hunter reference. Uh, but my daughter likes these. So we're just going to go with that. Alright. I kind of like this little... This little vet. Uh, meadow here as kind of a starting point um, but since we're looking to make a first night house until we decide what we want to do for a more permanent home that sort of thing uh, how about we make like gosh I sound like a valley girl how about we like make like uh, how about we make a hole in the wall type thing nah uh, we'll just stick our bed out in the oven up that makes sense to everybody? I think right about there is where we actually want to build the house. Whoa! Where the breach will actually rest. But until then... We'll kind of do this. And that. And that ought to fill us up for a little while. Let's go ahead and make that chest. And we'll use it to stick stuff in for now. Like sugar cane and flowers and seeds and flowers and meat and we'll keep the wool and these and we'll make a couple of torches here in a minute and we'll keep that with us at all times and there we go actually <gasps> we're organized okay oh and uh it's organized wow super baller okay here we go and then we'll also make a bed which by the way i found out that you can't do this in one point uh 12 because they're just too different. There. Yay, num nums. Just in time for bed, too. Nice. Okay. Let's lay a couple of these down. Uh, there. Jeez. And. There, alright. I can only sleep at night. Okay, so it's not quite nighttime enough yet. Gosh. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Rons, that is snore backwards. We have eight minutes, guys. Eight minutes. We're not going to bother building the house on camera. I'll build that off camera because, let's face it, building a house, making a farm. It's a little more tedium than what we're really wanting to do. So let's let's concentrate on. Oh, I forgot to install just enough items. <laughs> oh, I have to remember other recipes myself. Oh, okay. Well, I'll need at least two of those and three of those. Oops, not four. Oh, I fell off my crafting. Whatever. All right. So step one is to make a book go perfect and then I think I want to do this oh, um, I think it's all the way around eh? yeah I don't frame. okay now we need to find us a nice a mana pool so kids. Let's look for a mana pool. Uh, I thought about putting Astral Sorcery in here, but my consultant said no. So, you know, it's it's a thing. Or should I say, it's not a thing. I'm running into unloaded chunks, so it's going to derp out a little bit. There we go. 
in the hopes of finding a mana pool. I, I would really like to find one so that I can... Uh, I mean, the last time I played man, I found so many really big ones. There we go. Now I'm sprint jumping. I don't want to die. Alright, now I'm not sprinting. Now I'm sprint jumping. Um, I found so many that it was just crazy. Um, and they were big and could be used for tons of things and they were close by and that was really my big motivator for building my house where I built it last time. But, you know things not really seeing one. I've seen a lot of desert novas that aren't anywhere near the desert but I'm not really seeing mana pools kind of makes me a little bit on the sad side of things. Wait, is that slightly... No, that was a Zero Blossom. thought, wait, is that slightly lighter than water? Water? But no, no it wasn't. Which, uh, it is confirmed it still looks like that. Um, but again, um, we're almost back to spawn. Oh, look, we're back at spawn! Um, but I'm, I'm not seeing any, uh... Wow, I got hungry fast. Anyway, uh... Not really seeing... Mana pools. Nah, that's water. I just want to make sure that it wasn't a mana pool mixed with water, you know. Man, this is this is this is moderately uh, the sad making. Uh, I'm just gonna keep looking. That's what we're after. We want to make our starts. Uh, Lexica Batania can be made with a book, which I'll plant the sugar cane here in a little bit. Uh, with a book and a tree sapling. And uh, the book that I'm trying to make now is the slightly more difficult one. A oh, wild wow, birch forest. Um. And it is the one that you make by using a mana pool, an item frame, and a book. That's the Earth's Magic book. Uh, it says here I've got about four minutes to find this thing. And if I don't, we're out of luck for this episode. I'll try to locate one in between, and then that will uh, let us get things rocking. Uh, starting in the next episode. Uh, also not a mana pool, man. I may have to uh, recheck the references and see where mana pools spawn these days. See if it's underground, because if it is, oh, I'm looking in all the wrong places. Unless, nope, that's just super shallow. Like me, super shallow. What time of day is it? It's about halfway through the day, we're running out of daylight. We've got three minutes. Uh, I'm thinking we may cut off here real soon uh, so that I can build the house there we go, and find this stuff off camera so that we can get started in the next episode with these mods. And in the meantime, I'll just vent it. Ah, getting a stripped over my own word. <gasps> yeah. Anyway, and then in the meantime, we could just vanilla it up. Ah, we're gonna have to remember these coordinates. Hold on. F3. Uh, 575 and 440 will find it for us. Okay, so then we do this, and then we take this, and this, and we go like that, and look, it does the thing. It's so pretty. Boom. I'm gonna wait for the animation to finish, that way nothing drips out. Bam! There's our arcane compendium. Uh, that is the book for Ars Magica. All right, let's, uh, wow, that's a lot of those. And look, see, now that I've got that, I've got my mana and, uh, burnout bars off to the side. Um, 
to help me keep track of my mana and burnout. I don't have the numbers. Uh, it's got my love, my uh, magician's level, my wizard's level, whatever you want to call it, right there in the center of the screen. I'm not going to mess with the config. I'm just going to leave it at default. Uh, normally I mess with the config so that you can see the numbers on burnout and magic, but mm, just seeing how full the bar is is just is going to be just fine. Um, we're going to get out of this birch forest. Birch is actually one of my favorite woods. I like using it for floors. Uh, we have about one minute. I'm going to try to get back to the place where we've placed our bed and our crafting table and all that during the time. Yeah, there it is. There it is. All right. So there's our stuff. I'm going to get us over here. I'm going to write down those coordinates. Then you get 575, 440. Um, so that we can come back and find the place. We uh, probably won't be able to make the antique atlas until we have redstone. I believe it takes a compass and a book, uh, if I remember correctly. But yeah, that that's the thing. Okay. All right, folks. That was episode one of Mystical Masochism. The Redux. However you want to say it. Doing it a second time. Ooh, Spruce. <laughs>